morning guys. Well, 1.30 in the morning anyway. Yeah, decided to start the vlog before I go to bed. It's installing updates at last. I think it's around about 10 o'clock. Thereabouts it finally said, please click here to install updates. So it did. <laughs> and it's now on 154 of 209. Um, I'm going to give it till 2 o'clock. It's not actually taking as long to install them as I thought it would. And, uh, yeah, I'll give it till 2 o'clock. If it hasn't done by 2 o'clock, then I'm buggering off to bed. Uh, I've got the lights and everything on here. I think I've got the front brake. Pretty much sorted, I think, as best I'm going to get it anyway. So, project V-brake upgrade complete. Now, I did want to stick better grip shifts on this at some point, but they're working fine for now. Only because these are the sort of cheapy ones that, you know, you so much as drop the bike. This will crack and snap off, because the plastic's not the best quality. Uh... I know Rally used to use those years ago, but yeah, they're not worth changing the gear cables on either, to be honest. Too much pissing around with those ones. It's possible, but like I said, too much. They're really designed that once they, you know, the gear cables need replacing, that you just chuck them and replace them, these ones. In my opinion, anyway. I know there's probably some other cycle repair guys out there that probably disagree with that, but... Yeah, I just don't find these cheap ones worth the hassle, to be honest. I always see it as an excuse to upgrade to something better. <laughs> I'm going to just kick my tube of grease out of the way before I stand on it and pop grease all over the floor. I don't know why that's actually there, because, you know, you meant to use the whole tube when you do your bearings, but obviously I didn't for some reason. <sighs> right, yeah. I've been out and got my cashew from the cash machine as well and had a walk around town. Because uh, I don't often do that. It's just nice to walk around town when there's no one around, you know. Because uh, that's just how I like things. <laughs> We're still on 154. 155 of 209. So we can get all this done. Do you have to message me when I'm on the camera every time? I messaged them like 10 minutes ago. Pick the camera up and they reply. <laughs> oh. Alright, so. I have to sort of drag my ass out of bed because obviously I've got to go to the post office, pay my uh, service charge. I'm only going to pay half of it, or um, this two weeks first, because uh, I'm going to be a bit short. So if not, I'm clicking on the wrong window. Here we go. Firefox just did a not responding thing on me twice which is annoying <laughs> paid my Netflix with the odd eight pounds that was in my uh, bank account yeah because council tax are automatically taking three pound and some odd pence out of my ESA so uh, I don't quite get the full 200 pounds a fortnight so with the eight the odd sort of eight pounds I use to play Netflix. So I can watch Netflix! Yay! <clears throat> oh well, I suppose I should switch off the camera as the battery is almost kaput on this anyway. I was waiting for it to start flashing red. I uh, actually can't wait to go for a test ride on this bike with the new brakes. Yeah. I did play around with the front V brake, swapping brake, um, 
the V-brake levers over for various others I had in the pile over there on the little bag and uh, I have finally found a pair that I can get to squeeze evenly to avoid as much rubbing on the wheel as possible. Then I noticed one of them was twisted which I soon fixed with a big pair of grips and I just put them on it and just twisted it back in the position. It was twisted because one part of the brake pad was pretty much always on the wheel or one end I should say and the other end of the brake block wasn't. I keep calling them brake pads they're not, they're brake blocks. Uh, I guess it comes from years of calling them brake pads. Oh well, you know what I mean. Right, um, so I'll put the original lights back on, put the mud guards back on. I've just got to trim that front brake cable down and put a cable end on it and that's done. Do that tomorrow or something. I'm hoping, really, really am hoping to get to the dump tomorrow or the recycle centre because I need bikes and I'm completely fresh out. I've got, well, I've got one. I've got that kid's one. That is it, which I think, failing everything else, I'm going to have to uh, bring that up, aren't I? And get that so it doesn't need a lot done to it really. The gears need sorting and I need to refit the brakes and that is it. I mean I've got the brake parts here to do the brakes and they'll match the front. So yeah. Where he we're flashing red, there we go. So on that note, as a battery is saying I'm gonna die, I'm gonna uh, turn the camera off and I'll see you on the other side of the bed <laughs> when I wake up. Well as you can see it's daylight now. Uh, 10 to 1. I've been awake since 9 o'clock. Uh, been out, paid my service charges and whatnot. Uh, had breakfast. Been to Little for Mum but they didn't have what she wanted or at least I couldn't find them. Reminds me, I was just gonna. Doing. I put that all the way down, I get off and it just pings straight back up. The um, mechanism that adjusts the height has uh, failed. So I said, whoa. Yeah, but that has failed. I just sat on it and uh, I sunk. My um, mechanism is gone. It hisses every time I uh, <laughs> move on it now. So, I'm so look at how that is. To, I am to the table. <laughs> I've had to <laughs> just so the screen on the computer is uh, better for me to look at it. I've had to lower it. I may um, I may actually have to get rid of this chair and bring the other one over. Now, Mum wanted beef sausages from Lidl's, but I couldn't find them. They weren't with the rest of the sausages, and they weren't in any of the um, special offer fridges either. No, it's not that. Despite the shitty weather we're having, I've, when I was in Lidl earlier, I saw a lot of people buying barbecue stuff. I think they're a bit optimistic, personally. <laughs> Let's have a look. Well, they're here. You know, they are on offer, so I know Mum's not going gaga. <laughs> but, um... I couldn't see them. I checked every label in the, um sausage section what week does it say what week this well it's from today to Wednesday 4th of May uh, 
I'll have to have a look for her again later and see if I can get her some, I don't know, maybe for tomorrow. Could just be me going blind, I may have missed them. Or at that price, they may have sold out already. Thursday is a busy day. As uh, it's pension day, so um, all the old folks come to town to look at the market and, you know, do their weekly shopping and whatnot. So it's quite a busy day in town on a Thursday. Let's have my sugar-free lemonade. Nope, it isn't, is it? seeing if there's anything in here that I've missed when I was in there. But, uh, no. I'm going to take the camera with me when I go to Mum's. She should be sort of here by about 1.15. I'm going to take the toolbox. We're going to take a trip to the dump. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll find something. I may even find a computer chair there. Yeah, it um, yeah, you can tell it's knackered because uh, I can actually raise it just by pulling on it. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Uh, oh, good stretch. Oh, yeah, I've sorted the toolbox out so that's ready to go. I was trying to upgrade the memory in this, but it didn't like it. <laughs> I'm guessing... It didn't like the one gigabyte stick I was putting in there. Might have been the wrong rating for it, but uh, never mind. It's got a gig and a half on it, it works for now. Um, sort my pocket out. Change, because I don't like carrying. I hate carrying unnecessary change. Mostly, what we got? copper coins because you never use them you never use these all five p's and very rarely ten p's so that's the sort of change i like to carry you know 20 p's 50 p's pound coins and two pound coins that's all i ever use i think that's all anyone ever used so the rest of it goes in my change pot anywho i'm going to take this camera with me to mum's because uh if the weather holds i was going to take a walk down her lane and bring you guys along just for something a bit different so uh, I'll turn the camera off here because I'm gonna have to I just want to go to the loo and whatnot make sure I don't need to go you know get the calls of nature answered before I go anywhere basically and uh, next time you see me I should be in the middle of the countryside <laughs> so uh, see you a little later Well, I'm at Mum's. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but somewhere over yonder, I can just find it. No, it's not going to pick it up. I've just seen the air ambulance flying over. It's probably going into land. <clears throat> but. Uh, I'm actually up on the uh, caravan field. It belongs to the landlord who lives right there, and Mum lives right there next door. So uh, I'm not doing a lot at the minute. I thought I'd just come out on the field. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a rat problem again. I think it's maize grown in this field, I can't remember. I want my old uh, Ellswick, my old faithful that I keep out here. Just for playing around on the main road over there. Trailer. <laughs> oh dear. Hey 
comes Rocky. You gonna go for a run around the field, Rockstar? I bet Henry's been lazy and gone indoors, hasn't he? <laughs> That's the landlord's dog, by the way. He's got another one, another Jack Russell. Does he get disappeared through the hedge? Yep. <laughs> oh dear. All right then, I'm going to change a location. Wait until there's no one around again, so I don't get distracted, and uh, I'll be back. I have toys. I'll show you them when we get home. But uh, I'm just going to say there's three bikes in there. One of them has just ran off. Turn this way. Numb nuts. That's the reason I wanted to come down the lane. But I weren't expecting to see him in the corner of this field. Oh, you can see the other one. There is two. There's more than two around here. Yep, it sounds like there's another one down the back there somewhere. I'm going to try and be clever now. Hang on. I'm in the wrong gear. <laughs> I'm actually not that far from Mum, she's just up the lane there. Right. I'm in a better gear now, so I should be able to ride. Ooh. Here we go. He's still there. Oh right now it looks like the owner's gone. There's a bunny rabbit, look. See him? Right there, look, bunny rabbit. A lot of wildlife around here. It sounds like the rest of the peacocks are in the back garden. There's a bunny going down the back. Oh, my foot on the mud guard. Oh, I've got an itch. I was getting itch when you got your hands full. There's some wasteland in there. I can't see nothing interesting in there at least. Hello. Well, there might be some dog walkers down there. I can see a car park. There was something living there. I can't see anything down there though. I'm not going to get too close to investigate either. Quite nice down this lane. Nice and quiet. I get a tickle on my nose. Need to make a mount for a bicycle, do like a quick release mount. So I could mount this on the handlebars or something. There's always a car park down here. Magpie going across the field. Right, let's pull over here for a minute. Ow! Vast countryside. I don't know if they're growing anything in this one this year. This one's just been sort of a grass since Mum's lived up here.
the main road over there as well. Not a lot when you're out in the middle of the countryside, there's not a lot to see. I can see a rapeseed field from here. I'm facing the wrong way though. So through there, you can just see the yellow. We get a lot of those around here because uh, not far from here there is a biofuel plant and they use that for um, biofuel. Mm. You see the traffic on those two main roads over there. There's one just over here. There's another one where the houses are. See it, and right over there, more bunnies. I can see at least five all along the edge of that field. Oh, hello, he's getting brave. Yeah. Come to investigate. Aren't they beautiful birds? Comes the other one. I don't think it's going to come any closer. He's dead. <laughs> Can't believe the amount of wildlife. I'm going to come and say hello. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's definitely interested. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera away. Well, I'm back home. <coughs> oh, and my feet are killing me because I've been on them most of the day. Let's see if I can open a bottle of cola one-handed, shall we? Ooh, fuck, it's cold. Where's it been in the fridge? There we go. Got me stack of CD cases to stand you on now. Right. I just want to pour myself a drink. I should have done this before I uh, um, put the camera on, but never mind. No, 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 no. I am home. I've bought two of the three bikes upstairs because uh, the third one may end up as a parts bike yet. Um, I might have a use for the wheels in another bike. Actually, no, I won't. I'll just want the tube. Come to think of it. Yeah, because I think the front one might be punctured as it's flat. Anyway. So, shall we have a look? There's this little old jalopy I've picked up. Doesn't actually look too, that bad. Um, I'm not sure if the paint has faded. Two flat tires. Uh, it is well. It's got dynamo lights on it. You know, there's the rear one, front one, but they're not wired up because there's no dynamo.
Um, and it's got a bracket on the front for a dynamo on the other side. So I've got dynamo, so wiring them back up shouldn't be an issue. Um, apart from rust on that chain guard there, and a rusty handlebar, there isn't really a lot wrong with it. I'll take that rusty old baggage rack off. That just bolts on, so I'll take the whole, th the whole thing off. The wiring is there for the lights, so I've just got to uh, reconnect, hopefully. Um, so yes, this one's a keeper. This is going to be one of my own personal little toys. Um, I do have another handlebar, as I said, so I can swap that, no problem. Got brake cables. That's not a problem. Might need to change that lever. Oh, I can see what's happened there. May need to actually just squeeze that together again. I've got some better handlebar grip, so I'll just cut those off and ditch them. So yeah, that'll clean up. Front brake is actually working. The rear one isn't, because uh, it's not meant to do that. <laughs> it's meant to be one of these things. In the end, I don't know if the gears work, but again, that don't matter. I've got gear cables if that one's seized. Uh, seat is in good condition. Front wheel is a bit of a letdown, but I do have one in another shopper bike I've got sitting at Mum's. So, if I want to change it, I can change it. Or I've got wheels in a shopper bike here, in my old white one. It's just a warning. Um, yeah, all the quick release me mechanisms do seem to work. Uh, it's got alloy mud guards. What is it? It's a Derby. A Derby Markin. Markin. Macan Row? I don't know. Bit of a weird word, that one. Never heard of one of these, but it they all basically follow the same design regardless of uh, brands, so... I think them forks might be bent. No, no they're not. It's just the wire throwing it off. <laughs> That's the wire for the tail, like... Uh, da, da, da. I may actually get a 6 volt battery and a couple of bits of wire and just test the lights, make sure they work themselves. It's aluminium. I've got cute little lights. Look at that. <laughs> Couldn't resist it as soon as I saw it though. I had to have it. <laughs> anyway. I've got this mountain bike as well, a mountain ridge, Taramo, I believe it says on there, T1, quick release, quick release seat, seat is in good condition, it's in overall good condition apart from the rust on the shoulder of that fork, which I'll clean off as best I can, but that's the only, really the only downside to this, apart from it's probably going to need all new cables. I haven't actually tried the gears, so I don't know about the gears. But the other one is a jump style mountain bike again. Um, it's an X rated brand. It needs, it's fixable, but it does need a fair bit of work, so. And I think I'll have more chance selling the blue GT I've got in the shed. Decided I'll sell that one, I'm not going to use it for anything, it's just taking up room. So, that can go. That's what I want the um, tubes for out of the X-ray I got today. Apart from the three I've picked up, the rest was shit down there. Utter shit. To be honest, it was a waste of time them putting them in the bike rack, you know, to recycle. There weren't really any decent 
salvageable parts on him either. Um, literally, I think I've picked up the best three that were there. <laughs> I mean, this mountain ridge isn't, you know, brilliant. It's got some decent grip shifts on it, though. Um, but it will go again, you know, if I just uh, sort the cables out. Actually, I think it's just the brake cables that look the worst. I'm looking at the gear cables at the minute that don't look too bad. Um, which will be a bonus. I think the bottom bracket bearings are a little bit loose. They should tighten up. Handlebars at a funny angle, but... I guess someone's put it there as their own preference, so... Yeah. That'll, uh... That'll, uh, fix up. There's air in the back tyre, but not the front tyre. Same with the X-rated jump bike. Um, so... Could be punctured, those front tyres. But the, um, shop by which I'm currently leaning on to keep the camera steady... Is uh, it has two front tires, which two front tires, two flat tires is what I wanted to say. Probably because I was just staring at the front wheel. Anyway, it's got two flat tires, which indicates it's probably gone flat just from not being used. It's probably been sitting in someone's shed for a number of years. Um, well, like I said. This isn't going to take a lot to sort it out. I've got a handlebar, better one that will go nicely in there, with brake levers on. Actually, might dig that out tomorrow. I know where it is. It's just getting to it. <laughs> I've got them two big. I don't know if you've seen them on camera when I've been in the um, outside cupboard, but I've got two large yellow containers um, stacked at the bottom, and then I've got loads of shit basically stacked on top so all I've got to do is uh, move the shit off the top <laughs> uh, maybe Sunday they'll have I don't know another half decent bike something I can do something with I know the brake cables stick on this mountain bike here so I'm likely going to have to uh, definitely do the brake cables but uh, the rest of it looks fine to me. Well, I'll probably get at least 20 quid for it when it's done. I'm going to try my best. That's the challenge I set myself, not to spend any money on them. Even though cables are only a couple of quid. But Anyway, I have a few bits in the bag. I've got a section of pie. Go in the fridge. Um, I was actually looking for these and I hadn't actually seen them in the car. Well, actually, I found one in the car the other day, but the other one was actually buried under the um, booster cables that are in the back. I don't know how it got there. I don't know if um, stepdad borrowed it. So, uh, yeah. One of these will go back in the car, and one will go there. And I've just got some out of date cakes for some reason. I don't know why I'm giving those. <laughs> Bang, that do my guts a lot of good out of um, But I've got a user manual for the Toshiba A60, and I think there's a CD in that full of um, tools and things. And this is for a wireless PCI card. And that is all in French. Ah, start here, where it says in English. <laughs> Belkin Quick Installation Guide. May have to go online to get the drivers for this one, if it works. Well, I assume the disc is still trapped in that book because I can't see it in the bag. Here's what it is Wireless G. Ooh.
I know I can still buy these brand new on eBay, but I'm just wondering why. That's why I went quiet, because most laptops have Wi-Fi built in now, and they have done for years, so... Yeah, although sometimes the built-in Wi-Fi is shit on some of them. What does it sound like it's hailing outside? I know it snowed today. Yep, and I saw the gritters out last night. What is the date on these? Because as long as they're not too far past the sell-by date, they'll be fine. But I'm not actually sure I'm going to trust them, to be honest. 20th of April. Nearly 10 days. Now I'm going to put those straight in the bin. I ain't trusting them. <clears throat> they might be alright, but my guts get tetchy enough as it is. I'm not trusting them. Um... I actually want to start on this one tomorrow. Do you know something? You want to really hear something stupid? I keep looking at the paintwork on this and it's actually making me want to grind my teeth. Because <laughs> it just looks rough and I'm thinking, you know... Oh yeah, it's just me thinking. <laughs> right. If I'd have remembered the Sunday night, they would have been okay, but they've been in the prob probably in the car since then, because Mum was going to give them to me Sunday, and I forgot to pick them up. But yeah, you know, about a week out of date, that's uh, pushing it in my book. Right. So... I hope you like the footage that I got at Mum's, especially of the um, peacocks and whatnot. Fair bit of wildlife. Mum said the whole line is just alive with rabbits up most of the time. <coughs> you wouldn't starve out there, would you? You'd go and shoot yourself a fresh rabbit. I know some people don't like hunting, but I know those that do probably wouldn't have a problem with it. I ain't got it in me to kill myself, but, you know, people that hunt and eat what they hunt is fine by me. I'd still eat it. Like I said, I just haven't got it in me to go and kill it. <laughs> right. Yeah, my old computer chair is up there because it gave up the ghost. The um, air cylinder on it that controls, you know, the raise and lower mechanism on it is... Um, it went this morning, it completely went. My brother's just messaged me asking, can I order his keyboard tonight? Um, no, because I ain't got no money in my bank account. <laughs> Otherwise I would. Um, and I don't know the make, model, etc. of his laptop. Right. I did take some um, separate footage of the peacocks to put up on Facebook as well, so sort that out from what I've got on here. And it is actually pissing it down outside again. New no surprise there, this is Britain. Welcome to Britain there. What is the most common weather? Rain. I don't get it, because that back wheel looks alloy. I don't think that's the original front wheel. Because I'm pretty certain that's an alloy back wheel. I have got some alloy 20 inch wheels, so if that is an alloy rear wheel, I could swap them. I just put an alloy front wheel. Them spokes are probably alloy or something similar because they haven't rusted. <laughs> it's a good hint that they're either stainless steel or alloy spokes because they don't haven't rusted. The rest of the wheel has. It looks like this has got a lock or something on the back. But, uh, I have absolutely no friggin' idea. 
Yeah, it does look like a wheel lock. Be interesting to know if these lights are going to fire straight up when I connect a dynamo to them or a battery. I'll try them or test them on a battery first. I could use the 4.5 volt battery out of that bike light. As long as it does, it'll have enough oomph in there just to light them up so I can see if they're going to work. I don't want to waste time uh, fitting a dynamo just to find, you know, the wiring is needs redoing. Look at that, that's where the wire goes for the rear light. Look how dinky it is. I'm just pointing towards the floor for some reason. Not a lot of use down there, is it? Oh, some bubbling in the frame there. Now I've still several years worth of use out of that yet. I can't believe that stickers are in such good condition either. That frame isn't too bad. I think it's just a paint that's bubbling. Because I can't actually feel it in the metal work. Oh well, I could always respray it if I want to. Well, what's this? So I just got a whiff of something electrical burning. No, it's not the camera. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to end the video here because I've rattled on for 18 minutes. This is going to be quite a long video, but uh, at least there's something to watch. So, you know, you could watch all the wildlife and then stop the video if you want. It's up to you. Whee! So, uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, you know the drill by now, you know, if you like my videos and hit the subscribe button. Or, um, probably take my camera out to Mum's a bit more, so, uh, see what I can find to video out there. Actually, I think I might just go on bike rides with my camera and see what I can video. Why not? When the weather gets better, anyway. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.